first born, you were so tiny. Oh my gosh. You came a month early. Surprised everyone. Nobody knew what to expect. I tried not to show it, but I was certainly terrified. But then you cried. I remember that was one of the happiest moments of my entire life. Someday your mom will tell you the story about how your name was almost Buzz. <laughs> your brothers were pretty adamant about it. It doesn't really matter what your name is. Or how often we get to see each other. I always love you. your woobie, don't we? Is Where it? is that? Yeah, it's, it's in the oh, uh, inside in the pocket. pocket. Yeah. Okay. Um, you want your woobie? Yeah, I'll get it for you. <clears throat> there it is. Thank you. It's his, um, his blankie. <laughs> he can't sleep without it. It's good to know. Yeah. Okay, can you say goodnight? Can you say bye-bye? Night, buddy. Can you say bye-bye? You be a good boy for your mom, okay? real father <laughs> honestly lucky I don't know I mean, Elizabeth has hasn't been exactly forthright about the paternity of her children unless it suits her of course well, we can get another test like I no, said before. It's, it's not necessary I've already agreed to bow out of Aiden's life I mean that's what you need isn't it hey don't don't do this for me okay don't invoke some sort of mercy rule to keep my heart from getting stomped on especially when i can see how difficult this is for you we all pay a price for our sins don't we this is mine so be it but you were right though it was my instinct to take aiden and run with my money and contacts uh, i could have stayed hidden for years i know what changed your mind? What changed my mind? I paid a visit to Emily's grave. <laughs> it seems even in death that woman can set me straight. And I didn't want to start this Cassidy and Spencer war all over again. Especially after you and I worked so hard to get past it, to undo it now, just... Didn't make sense. Wasn't worth it. Especially if it's going to cost me my brother. When Spencer was born, I was quick to hand him off to the help because I felt like I was going to do something wrong or I was going to fail him in some way. So I provided him with a steady stream of uh, tutors and nannies, thus dooming him to the same lonely existence that I had to endure during my life. I made a conscious effort not to do that with Aiden. I tried to be a real father to him, and Spencer deserves that too. What does that mean? I mean, what, what do you plan on doing? I'm leaving here. For good. I'm gonna go get a fresh new start. There's just too many memories for me here, man. Where are you going? I'm gonna go to Zurich for now. 
I guess. Um, I made a, arrangements for Norma to stay on as Aiden's nanny, if you like. I mean, I, I've, I've paid her through the year, so it's, you can... It's very generous of you. Yeah, I just, I just didn't want everyone in Aiden's life that he's come to rely on to suddenly disappear all at once. I know things are complicated, but I want you to stay a part of Aiden's life. I, no, I do too. I mean, I, but I understand if that's asking too much right now. <sighs> Aiden isn't the only reason why I'm leaving. Emily's death had a profound effect on my life. And in the years since, all I've done is try and find a, a substitute for her. You know, someone who can get me back to that place where I'm truly happy. And all I wound up doing was hurting the people that I love the most. It doesn't mean you have to leave, Nicholas. I mean, that's in the past. No. I used to take comfort in knowing that I could still feel her around me. And how it's all just a reminder of what I can never have again. You don't know that? Yeah, I, you, well, Emily and I had Elizabeth. Nothing will ever compare to that. Nothing. I can stay with you, you know. When are you leaving? Plane's waiting for me. When will we see you again? Slash the tires on my jet. I was thinking something more along the lines of cutting the fuel lines so you land in the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> touche, brother, touche. That's Cassidyne esque. I like that. Why are you doing this? Why are you leaving? I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. All the drama that's gone on over the years, I just, I've had enough no, of don't it. Give me that. We've known each other for too long for you to give me some kind of cop-out answer. You're running away. That's what this is. Oh, and I want to know why. Hold on. Forget my reasons for leaving. Why in a million years would you want me to stay after everything? Because this, this is where you're supposed to be. I mean... I want you in my life, okay? I want you in my children's life. You're my brother. And I love you. And like I said, that's, that's non-negotiable. And it's not just because of blood. You're one of the only true friends that I've ever had. How can you say all those things after everything that I've done to you? <sighs> okay, look. Deception is wrong, right? I mean, we agree on that. We've been through it. That's easy. But your affair with Elizabeth never would have happened if her and I were in a healthy place. A woman who is madly in love doesn't do that. And what hurt me the most was just losing her. And all the anger and the rage 
that I put towards you for the, the lies and the betrayal. It was just a cover, man. It was just a way for me to deal with that. I mean, if Elizabeth and I had split up and then you guys got together, you think that wouldn't have hurt just the same? If she, if she would have had an affair with some stranger down the street, it would have been the same thing. You're not what you think you are, Nicholas. You didn't just wake up one morning and decide, hey, I, I'm going to betray my brother. It didn't happen like that. There was a lot of brokenness with all of us. You're not the villain you think you are. And I'm releasing you from that right now. Only my brother. Well, I need to at least attempt to try and articulate what I think happened. Okay? I loved her. Oh, I, at least I thought I did. And I had this... This, this grand vision in my head, you know, the, the the American dream or whatever, whatever it is, the white picket fence, the Labrador retriever, all the stuff that goes on with that. And then I realized that it just wasn't my dream. It's just another substitute. What I can never have again. That's what it was. Now, I don't do this very often. I don't think I ever have. But you are my brother, and you're gonna listen to me right now. You understand? You understand me? Yeah. When you're lying in your deathbed, and you're about to take your last breath. What, what, what do you think you're going to think about? Huh? Some big case that you cracked that nobody else could solve. Some nice vacation that you took with all of your friends. Not even that, not even that intervention that you had with Luke that apparently didn't do any good. You're not going to think of any of that stuff. You're going to think of one thing and one thing only. And that is, just before you pass and you hold your hand out, the only thing that you are going to care about is whose hand is on the other end, brother. That is it. If you can answer that riddle, then you figured it all out. until you came here to help Lulu. How come you never had an accident? Who says I haven't been using one the whole time? 